Well, hello again, all my fluid art friends. It's Doris at DF Designs. Not doing a painting today or any pouring or alcohol inks. I'm just going to show you some little things I got yesterday when I was out shopping. Never let me loose in a Hobby Lobby or Michael's because I spend way too much. Okay, um, for Michael's, I got these. And these paints, uh, there's a lot of colors in there. Um, I saw Erica at um, Artist Till Death uh, web, uh, YouTube and website, and on Facebook too. I saw her use these in some uh, resins, so I wanted to try them. I also got a couple new colors of inks. These are the Dollarami FW inks. This one is Purple Lake, this one is Turquoise, let's see, this one is Dark Green, and then I got a Liquitex Prussian Blue U, because I watched uh, Scarlet at uh, Display of Color use them, um, and with alcohol, and I'm going to try it, okay, and I got a new tint, this is, uh, where'd it go, where's the color, this is the color it is, this is supposed to be Sailor's Bay, okay. This is, let me show you the label. This is a brand that you can use. You get it mixed up at uh, Home Depot, and you can use this just like you do your, um, your other base tints and resin. So I got a little bit of everything here. Um, for resin and for alcohol inks. Um, I didn't get anything for acrylics because um, I didn't need anything. But anyway, I put this in, I use it sparingly, in a four ounces of resin, which is what it normally takes for me to do a uh, um, base coat. I usually put about an eighth of a teaspoon. I'm serious, it doesn't take much. So anyway, this will be used in an upcoming video and I also bought this color in a flat because I wanted to paint some boards like I had seen um, Scarlet and all I got was just a color sample jar I wanted to watch Scarlet um, I watched Scarlet do, use some gray backgrounds okay um, also at Home Depot I got some of these these little guys are really really good there's uh, 14 pieces in there um, these guys are really good to go on the back of MDF board and um, smaller wooden pieces um, to hang them, okay? And I also, I wanted to do some more silicone molds, so this is what I like to use, is the 100% silicone by GE, but I saw this bigger tube, and the, I'll tell you why. The reason I like to buy them in the tubes and not in that uh, big tube that goes into a caulking gun is because my hands cannot squeeze that, that trigger on the caulking gun. So I like to try to buy my stuff in this. So I'm going to be do, I'm gonna be testing this out to see if it works as good as this because it's cheaper. Um, so we'll see. You know, I'll be trying that in some upcoming videos. Okay, now on to my Hobby Lobby finds. Let me show you this real quick. This is what Clara Lawrence at Clara Lawrence Art uses for her um, alcohol ink paintings where she puts down a resist line. I was using a cheaper brand, I guess you could say, and I probably had a bigger needle too. Um, Cause I think the, I'm not sure if it's the bigger the number or the, or the lower the number. See, this is a 20 gauge. I'm not sure if the one I had was bigger or or, or not than this. Um, but I will try it out in an upcoming video because I'm going to be doing some more alcohol inks. I wanted it. I got these at Hobby Lobby. These are the uh, uh, Brie Reese alcohol inks. I got Prussian Blue and I got Rose. And I'm going to try them out because... I also found this paper. Look at this. This was uh, 12 inches by 47 inches, okay? And it's supposed to be, it compares to the Yupo heavyweight. So, and you can see, it's a pretty big roll, you know? 
and I'm going to see if it works as good as the Upo. And I also got some new alcohol ink colors. This is the one that's got poppy red, botanical, and honeycomb. This one's got dandelion, coral, and pistachio. And this one has sepia, aquamarine, and crimson. Because I don't think I had the crimson yet is why I bought that set. So, I've got some upcoming videos that are going to be using all this, okay? So, stay tuned. Um, thank you all for watching. I hope I didn't um, bore you too much, but I wanted you to see some of the new stuff that I got. So, uh, I will make sure that um, anything I do use out of this in the video will be in the title or in the very first part of the description so that way you can find it easier okay so thanks for watching i love the fluid arts right out of you okay and all i can say is bye for now